The first objects are Smisky. They're all my friends, and they are curious little creatures that like to stay hidden. But they will secretly glow in the dark, which is my favorite part of them. Cause when I look at them every night after I switch off the light, they maybe don't feel the loneliness anymore. And the reasons why they somehow represent me is that, first of all, the curiosity. People always say that curiosity killed a cat, but to me, curiosity is one of the most important factor to be alive. And I love the feeling of knowing new things and learning new skills. And the second reason is their uniqueness. As you can see, they all have the same facial expression, but they have their own character and personality. For example, this one, which is also the one I think is most similar with me, the Smisky Little Smelly. And they are always holding their breath because they are very sensitive to smell, and I am very sensitive to smell. And I like to be unique to create special thing, to follow my heart to do the thing I truly love, instead of just stick with other people's styles or the edgy trend. The second object is Frederick, which is from a book written by Leo Lioni. Some of you guys might have already heard or read this story, but story times! So it's a book mainly telling that everyone has something special to give to the world. So Frederick is a mouse living in a chatty family, and since the winter is coming, everyone is collecting food being prepared for the winter, except Frederick is daydreaming every day. And when they ask Frederick why you don't work, he'll say, I do work. I gather sun rays for the cold, dark winter days. And I gather colors because for the winter it's gray. And I gather words because for the winter days are long and we will run out of things to say. And now winter comes. In the beginning, they were still a happy family. But a few days later, no one is still chatting and only few foods are left. It was Frederick who lifted them up with the sun rays, the color, and the poetic words he had collected before that helped all of his family members to survive through this winter. And I found a connection between me and Frederick with his daydreaming and imagination. The most heard sentence from my mom is that, Can you stop daydreaming and be realistic, please? Well, I can't, because I cannot imagine my life without the little fantasia, the wonderland in my head. And I do believe that sometimes if you keep believing in one thing and trust yourself, it will come true one day. And also the flower held by Frederick. You'll all know how much I love different kinds of flower throughout this semester, so stay tuned. Last but not least, these two fish. You must have heard that brain of a goldfish. Yes, that's me. I'm always doubting and asking myself, what's the problem with my poor memory? I forget things so fast, which might be good for me because I will not remember those sadness or the negative stuff, but I'm still kind of fed up with forgetting what I want to look up after picking up my phone or especially what I decided to eat after I opened the fridge. And I love the freedom that fish have. Every time I look at them doing nothing in the water, I will think about how does it feel like that life has no objective or goals. Sounds kind of horrible for me, but I will love the freedom of going anywhere I want, doing anything I enjoy, and eating every food I like every day.